Let's go, boy. So your uncle died and left you this place, huh? That was nice of him. Yeah, it belonged to my family. Shit whole house, shit whole family makes sense to me. Get used to it. It's gonna be your home for the next 50 days, Lenny. Leonard. Excuse me? It's Leonard. Nobody calls me Lenny. No problem, Susie. You like that better? I bet you do. All right, let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? They call this home detention. You get to stay here with a nice little bracelet around your ankle. It's like prison, only it's home. It's one big national experiment, and if it works, other fuckers like you will get to enjoy the comfort of home instead of a jail cell. Save the state some money. Your ankle monitor sends a signal to the unit. The unit is connected to your phone connects with your phone so that it's always on, even if the power's out. You have 100 feet of movement. You step out of that perimeter, you've got 10 seconds to haul your butt back here before we show up and drag your ass to jail. Every time you're out of range, we get a warning. So don't think you can get a 10-second leeway here and there. Three warnings, I cut your range down. And don't try to cut off the bracelet. We lose signal. We'll be here within 10 minutes. Same for the unit. You move it, it screams, blah, blah, blah. I have 100 feet. But what about groceries and medication? Really? You don't have anyone who can come out here and help you? Not really. Well, that's the beauty of the program, Susie. It teaches you how to be self-sufficient. Can't rely on wet nurses wiping your ass forever now, can you? Look on the bright side. You could be rotting in a mental hospital right now. Instead, you got five-star accommodations. Stand up. How's it feel? It's tight. You'll get used to it, sissy boy. Now look at me. All you have to do is stay out of trouble. Because if you try and double cross me, I will hunt you down like a dog and then feed you to them. I got six dobies in a pen just salivating for new meat. Do we understand each other? Good. Judas Graves. That's your uncle? Yeah, he was a um, bouncer at some nightclub. Man's got style, I'll give him that. Uh, I didn't know him very well. I did. Judas loved the bottle. Loved driving fast, nasty combination. Drove himself off a cliff. Devil's slide, you ever hear about? What about you, Susie, you like drinking? Good. Because I don't want you popping any brewskis around here. I'm going to be checking up on you randomly. And if you stray, I will know it. I gotta take a piss. I think your closest neighbor is a mile away. Hope you got hobbies beyond jacking off. <laughs> You'll be bored out of your mind out of here. What do you do? I write. Yeah, what do you write? Books. Oh, books. Oh, that's just fucking. seizure on me, are you? They warned me about your condition. Don't be ashamed, dude. If my old man was a serial killer, I'd be just as fucked up as you are. Now the world famous Orrin Butcher Vasquez. You got some family history, boy. How long has he been gone? Ten years. Ten years. Wow, time flies. Good thing he changed your name from Vasquez to Vascaro. Real fucking clever. Well, you're already in set up to go nowhere, Susie Q. But there is a silver lining to all this. You won't have to be in this shithole all alone. You'll have all your little imaginary friends to talk to. See, I don't really like this home arrest experiment bullshit. 
Truth is, I don't want you in my county. You know why? Because you're the son of a monster. And the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree now, does it? No, all I need is one good reason to drag your ass back to the nut house. I know you'll give me one. Good luck.
Yeah. Um, hi, I'd, I'd like to run an ad, please. Uh, Part-time jobs. Back to Ronaldo, exposing Satanism in America, a week-long special. Professor Hart, what are these signs of Satanism? What could a concerned citizen be on the lookout for? Well, there are symbols and graffiti, like inverted crosses, pitchforks. If young people in your neighborhood indulge in fantasy role-playing games like Dungeons and Dragons, that's definitely a sign of witchcraft. Very often, people in satanic cults use animal sacrifice. We've had reports of people who found mutilated animals in their own backyard. That is just horrible. But that's only the beginning. It usually escalates to more violent acts. Lots of animal mutilations. Hello? Who's this? Hello? Hello? Yes? My name is Misty. I called about your ad. Hey. Nice place. So, uh, is it a good, uh, uh like you're taking classes or something? Psychology. Hmm. I'm taking the summer off. What's that? Oh, uh, it's an ankle monitor. 
can't leave the house. It's an experimental program, house detention. What did you do? Man, it's complicated. Oh. I was in a hospital and now I'm out. It's okay. Like a mental hospital? Was it obvious? I was just guessing. Okay. Well, listen, I just, I need somebody to run errands for me, like groceries, medication, stuff like that. I can pay 20 bucks a visit. I can do that. Okay. Do I know you from somewhere? Um, I don't think so. Really? You look familiar. Mm. Holy shit. Leonard Vasquez. I should have known. You used to come here every summer when I was a kid. I, I had pigtails back then. Oh my God, it must have been like, what, 20 years? But you still have the same face. I mean, not, not exactly. Oh, bitches. Mitzi? Yeah, this isn't gonna work. What? what? God, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I remember the whole deal with your dad. Yeah, you know what, you could just leave, all right? I don't want to waste your time. I know I'm a freak. No, but... no, I think it's cool that you're in town. You do? Yeah, 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 yeah. When, when you left, I followed the news about your family in the newspaper and I was hooked. The, the killings, I mean, that must have been horrible. God, I don't really want to talk about that, okay? I studied family violence. I understand a little. You don't. You're right, you're right, I'm sorry. But I would still like the job if, if you don't mind. You're not like your dad, are you? My dad and I are complete opposites. Understood. Okay, look, this isn't this isn't some some personal thing, all right, where we sit around and we tell each other stories. It's not like that, all right? I don't need a friend. All right, you do the work and I pay you. End of story. Look, and you, and you have to keep quiet about this. My lips are sealed. I swear. On my cat's grave. I get the job. Yeah, this is this is a list. It's uh, it's just groceries for now. Mhm. Mm
Excuse me? Hi, could you leave the mail on the porch, please? Why? Because I can't reach. Sorry, I, I just can't go over there. God gave you legs. Yeah, but I've, I've got back problems. Please. Sorry, I, I slipped in the tub the other night, and so I can't really even move that way, you know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Leonard, by the way. You live here now? Yeah, my um, uncle passed away. Yeah, I know, I saw it on the news. Yeah, I never knew him very well. He had lots of parties, your uncle. Really, what kind? I don't think the good Lord would allow me to say. But I will tell you one thing. Someone wanted him dead. Why? The good Lord rained fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah for a reason. It was for the sin of homosexuality. May God have mercy on his soul. Hey. You okay? Huh. Yeah, 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 sure. You should really vary your food groups. This stuff will kill you. <laughs> 15 grams of fat, 3,000 milligrams of Well, Mitzi, you, you don't have to put the I don't um, mind. things in there. I don't mind. Have you um, seen the news lately? Uh-uh. They found these bodies with uh, pentagrams carved into their chest and stuff. Huh. I mean, I, I don't know how they have not caught these Satanists yet. I mean, how long did it take the FBI to catch your dad? <sighs> what? Look, man, you can't you can't just come in here and start talking about my dad like we're like we're talking about the weather. Uh, you know they say it's good to open up and talk about these I things. I don't need a psychology class from you, okay? I was in the hospital for five years. They went over my case again and again and again. All right? <sighs> Trust me, a specialist when it comes to my own problems. God, I um. I was walking here today. I was thinking about what I was going to tell you. And I just really wanted things to sound normal. And I guess I screwed up again. Look, it's okay. All right. Just please, let's just avoid the subject of my dad entirely. Okay? I will. I apologize. It's okay. So, what else can I do? Sexual abuse in our schools, in our courts, and in Congress. America has an obsession with Satan. I, are you saying that the media is to blame? They certainly have a responsibility. Many of today's movies are no more than an introductory lesson to Satanism, witchcraft, and murder. When a guy who killed 55 people, I'm talking about the butcher here, Orrin Vasquez, when a serial killer becomes the hero of a trilogy of movies, you have a problem. Join us tomorrow. We will be taking calls with our uh, expert, uh, Vincent. Hey, Susie. What's a good word? I watched your dad's movies. Butcher one to three. I like the first one. First one was good. Second one dragged a little bit. And then the third one, Butcher had magical powers, became superhuman or some shit. That seemed a little bit far-fetched. You mind? Had a boy. Drop your pants. What? You heard what I said. Drop your pants. I don't see how this has anything to do with... I didn't ask your fucking opinion, did I? Just drop your fucking pants. Piss test. You can pee in a cup, can't you? Here? I 
Got to watch. Well, you clean the place, huh? Wow. Almost looks inhabitable. That's it? Yeah. You need to drink some more water, boy. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Think of me as a friend. Have you received any phone calls regarding any sort of satanic activity in your area? What kind of satanic activity are you referring to? You know, graffiti, symbols, you know, animal sacrifices. Cabin fever, right? You starting to lose it? You've only been here a week, Susan. Oh, I was just wondering... Wondering uh, what? The devil just happened to be hanging around these parts of town? Yeah, it's a real fucking normal question. You been smoking the reefer? Because you know I'll know. I haven't. <laughs> Maybe you're just weird 24-7. No, there's no Satanists in my county, Susie. Because they know if they get caught, they won't make it to the courthouse. They'll just make it to my kennel with my dobies. Thank you, Islami. Have a nice night. the country who are very active, ties in loosely with drug operations and heavy metal music. Thanks again for calling. Um, we will be taking more calls after the next pause. Look, of course it's a serious question, all right? I was just hoping that I could talk to Professor Hart tonight. It's about something that I... Yes. We're now back to Ronaldo, a week-long special. Our next caller is Brad from Michigan. Are you here, Brad? Uh, uh, yes, yes, is it me? me? Uh, yeah, can you please turn down your volume, please? All right, hi, uh, I love your show. Look, I found, I found a graffiti in my yard and I think it might be of satanic origin. What did it look like? Well, it was like a, a circle with three lines, like a sun, I guess. Just a circle in three lines? Yeah. I think what you're dealing with here is the Ophi cultus satanus. They're, uh, they're a highly secretive cult that worships Oren Vasquez, the, the butcher. The uh, serial killer. Exactly. Oren? But he... But he's dead. No, that's the point. They believe they can bring him back to life. But you have to explain that, Professor. How can they possibly bring someone back to life? You'll find the answer in satanic teaching manuals. Black magic, human sacrifice, who knows? Hope this answers your question, Brad. Our next caller is Wait, Candace hey, hey, I wasn't done yet. Candace? Oh, hello? Candace, are you here? Fuck!
checked everywhere, all through the house. I can't find any sign of entry. I locked everything, you know? They, well, they, they must have broken in. Back door was locked. That's so strange. You want to do me a favor and wait outside, please? Thank you. Is there something you want to tell me, Susie? I was sleeping, and then the alarm rang. The alarm rang. rang, yeah, yeah. You told me. You want to know what I think? I think you did it. What? I think your mind is so mixed up that you probably sleepwalked and triggered it yourself. But then what, I, I cut myself? People do some crazy shit when they're shuffling around in a coma. D did you check the yard? Why would I check the yard? Well, because earlier there was, there was a sign on the tree. A sign on the tree. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll show you. Come on, follow me. See, it was right on this, right on this tree over here. Where? Look, I'll show you. What's the matter? You can't find it? It was right here. I swear there was, there was a satanic symbol on this tree here. A satanic symbol? God, it was right here! Calm down, Susie. Come down here. Talk to me. Come here. For a second. Jesus jumping Christ. Now look at me. I spoke to your case advisor back at the hospital. You know what he explained to me? Your condition. Paranoid schizophrenia. Seems people like you have quite the active imagination. You think too much, you see things that aren't there. Before you know you're in full-blown delusion and snap. You go right off the deep end just like you did the last time. The one that got you five years in the asylum, you remember that? Some sorry son of a bitch looks at you sideways and oh, he's a Satanist trying to kill me. Isn't that the way it goes? It's a bit more complicated than that, OK? You're acting out. I did not imagine that. Maybe it's one of your other personalities. Personalities? Multiple personalities. That has nothing to do with schizophrenia, OK? I do not have multiple personalities. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So do you remember this? Hmm? Where'd you get it, Susie? Or am I talking to Lenny? Or is it Sybil? You got a Sybil in there, too? I found that. You found it. <laughs> Have you been having some illegal fun out here that I don't know about? Did you get lonely, call yourself a pro? No. Dominatrix come out here and fuck your ass back into reality? Hey, fuck! I told you, OK? I found it. OK. OK. You found it. You know what? Guess what else you found? <laughs> <laughs> You know what this is? Huh? It's a neuromuscular capacitor. Freedom 2000 stun gun. You like it? Do you like no. it? No. Why are you lying to me, boy? I'm not lying. You don't like liars. I'm lying, I swear, okay? I found it outside, I swear! Are you sure about that? No. Lenny, Susie, Sybil, whatever the fuck no, your name no, is. I found it, okay? I swear on my mother's grave, I swear! This is nothing. Compared to the 12 gauge I have out in my car. Now, if I find out you have been lying to me, boy, I am gonna fuck you up. Do you hear me? Good. Oh, for Christ's sake, stop your sniveling. <laughs> you and me, we're gonna have a lot of fun before we're through. You can count on it. Let's talk about these satanists. Um, you think there are people out there that want to... I know that they are out there. Agents of Satan. That's what you call them? They have cells in the United States. They're everywhere. Cells? Secret societies, covens. They think Orin is a prophet. They do not exist, Leonard. You created them. What do you mean? It's a fantasy. They're real. But that man that you attacked... He was one of them. According to the police report, he was a waiter in a restaurant. No. Where? He was just a waiter. No! You see? That's what they want you to believe, that they're normal people, but they lie! Leonard. Leonard. They lie. Get off of me! Okay, I, 
I know I'm late. I got a flat tire and I couldn't find a flat. Uh, okay. Have you taken your medication today? I don't know. I don't know. I might have skipped. I don't remember. Let's fix it. Where is it? It's in the bathroom. Take both of these. You know what else you need? Huh. A normal meal. I think those Salisbury steaks are driving you bonkers. Look, I made this something. No, don't worry. Uh. Strictly professional. Come on. Stop worrying, man. You'll be free in 40 days. 39. So cheer up. I remember one summer you were here and uh, you talked about going on a trip and then you never came back. The horn must have taken us across country. You know, we were his best cover. Perfect family, man. How did he die? The FBI shot him in the Everglades and he drowned. And you, what, what did you do after? Kept moving. You know, I traveled. And I ended up in a mental hospital for beating up a guy to Denny's in Reno. The doctors, they didn't want to let me out. You know, they called me a high-risk patient. And they're just waiting for a reason to throw me back in. And I could keep my mind in check. You know, but sometimes I, I relapse and see things that aren't there. What? My dad. And his victims. Uh, I disappointed him. You know, he wanted me to be just like him. How fucked up is that? My mom did this to me. I used to burn my hand on the stove. They just died when I was 12. I remember in school, the teacher would ask about our summer vacation, and I'd always lie and say I went to Disneyland. And of course, that was bullshit. All I really did was watch it get drunk. See, you're not the only one with a fucked up childhood. Aren't you gonna hug me? It's not real. Don't be. I'm not one of your visions, I'm real. <laughs> what the hell did they do to your hospital? Electric shock therapy. Oh, that shit won't fry your brain. Oh, excuse me. I like a rare. Relax. It's beef. I think. <laughs> oh, it looks the same, Lenny. So, how did you s survive the. I'm back from the dead. <laughs> no, you idiot. I hit. They said you were dead. Yeah, well, people like a happy ending. Cops gave him one. 
Oh, this isn't happening. Sit. Sit down! You're making me nervous. So where were you all this time? Here? Mm -hmm. I'm sure by now you know that Judas was a flaming homosexual. You know, I didn't mind that, but the goddamn noise. All those little fucking cunts he brought up here. I wanted to kill him. But I promised I wouldn't. So he kept me hidden here. And then the asshole gets drunk, drives his truck off a cliff. I thought the state was gonna take possession of this place, but <laughs> they give it to you. Last surviving member of her family. <laughs> I thought you were uh, still in some psych ward someplace, huh? Guess you got over your uh, little trauma thing, you know? I saw you were making a big deal out of nothing. Out of nothing? In my defense, I haven't killed anybody in uh, five or six years. It got boring, you know? Every time I killed somebody, they'd blame it on some goth loser, you know? In that case, they get thrown out the window. But you know what it's like to not get credit for your work? It hurts. You can't stay here. <laughs> I was here before you. No, no, look, I'm under house <laughs> arrest. Oh, ankle monitor. <laughs> I heard about those things. They were testing them back in 87. I'm stuck in here. There are ways around that until you see Sheriff kill. visits at random. If he sees you here, then we're both fucked. What the hell's he gonna do? <laughs> see, I don't know, kill us? <laughs> you're being too sensitive. You think I'm kidding? No, I think you're a pussy. Remember, uh, you used to faint at the sight of blood? That was embarrassing. I was 10. Always the same excuse, you know? I'm better than you. I'm not like you. Go the fuck up, Lenny. Where are you going? Calling the cops. Hello, operator. Can you please connect me to the safe? Ah! <laughs> ah! You betrayed me once, Lenny. You think I'm gonna let you do it again? Uh, oh, you can call the cops if you want. I'll just tell them I've been here the whole time. That means you've been harboring fugitives. You want to come do a little freak like you in prison? Hey, a little fatherly advice. Be careful of the choices you make in life because they can come back and bite you. Uh, Thank you. Ah. Uh. Hey, this is really great. Where'd you find this? It's not mine. Oh, yeah, Judas. <laughs> Kinky fucker. <laughs> oh, I have something I found very touching. All these news clippings you kept? My God, a half these killings I don't even remember. <laughs> I just, oh, Mommy, please don't read my diary. It's personal, all right? Remember when you were a kid, I taught you how to wrestle? Ooh. Your mailman's coming. Hey, his skin make good lamps. Here. No, 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 what are you talking about? Let's get him. No, 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 don't open the fucking door. Don't touch it, okay? This is my house, my rules, Orrin. Oh, all right? What, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, that's the one. If you could please send it over uh, via express mail, that'd be what the fuck? No, 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 I'm sorry, I wasn't talking to you. Um, yeah, it's, it's the same as my billing address, okay? Dear? When did you buy all of that? Last night. I'm on probation, okay? I can't have any booze here. Man, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you think I'm kidding? <laughs> so, how'd you get in a hospital? Doctors put me there. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 they said it had something to do with childhood trauma. Well, I'm really sorry that your mom was such a bitch. I'm not talking about mom. Well, you do remember she left me. You killed her brother. Oh, you're still pissed about that, huh? 
So how long are you going to be mad? The rest of your life? Yes. Oh, you know how to hold a grudge. Good. Shit. I'll get it. Open up, Susie. God fucking damn it. Tell him to fuck off. Look, it's the sheriff, okay? He needs to check on me. Then let him in. I'll fuck him up. I don't know, okay? I need you to hide, okay? <laughs> Not hide. Put that cigarette out. Open up now. Oh, please, hide. I'm going to count to five. And then I'm going to bust this fucking door down. One. Fuck. Two. Now, hide. Go to the bedroom. Hey, fuck. Three. Stay in it. Four. Did I catch you at a bad time, Susie? Oh, it was sorry. It was the bathroom. Have a seat. Well, Susie, your first piss test came out with flying colors. Came out squeaky clean. I have to say I was a little bit disappointed, although you can't get an STD getting banged in the ass by a dominatrix, can I didn't you? get banged in the ass by a <laughs> dominatrix or anything. I'm just fucking with you. Look, I want to check the unit, make sure it's in working order. Put her up. Let's check this bad boy out. No sign of tampering. Good boy. Hey, you know, I saw a special on TV the other night about your fucked up dad. Ten year anniversary. I think it airs again tonight on TV. You should watch it. You know, I didn't know your old man worked at a meatpacking company. Yeah, that's, that's how I got his name. You know, they coined a name for you, too. Son of a butcher. I think they should call it the son of a bitch. I'll be joining her soon enough. We're all dying on the same vine, you know? Stand up. How's it feel? Well, it's still tight. So I understand you were out of range twice, is that correct? Yeah, I was, I was just testing it. Yeah, but just remember, three strikes, pal, and you're out. I know, you're probably gonna lose your mind over that thing. You're gonna try and cut it off. I know it. Yeah, what's up? I'm at the lunatic's house. Copy that. All right, Susie, I got to go. I'll be back later. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> You're out of your fucking mind. Oh, that's a strong statement coming from a schizo. Uh, you bet out of pills? Just mind your own business. Tell me something, Lenny. Why do you get pissed off with your own imagination? What do you mean? Well, this, me, this. It's an illusion, right? One of your visions? That's what you think, then. I don't know. You know what this is? Foil. Yeah. Do you know if you took this and you wrapped it around that ankle monitor, you could block out that signal? You didn't know that, did you? No. Yeah, well, I knew it. And you didn't know it. So how can I be a figment of your fucking imagination? You're welcome. Along with Hitler, serial killer Orin Butcher Vasquez is today's top satanic celebrity. Responsible for at least 55 murders, Vasquez is revered by many modern-day devil worshippers who have adopted his philosophy. The mass extermination of those they consider unfit to live. We'd like to see most of the human race killed off. It is unworthy of the gift of life. A true icon of American horror, Vasquez inspired countless horror movies that still resonate with audiences today.
This is gonna be the best summer ever. <laughs> <laughs> Good. This is too damn funny. <laughs> Me, Orrin Butcher. Remember that name? The volume. Check this out. myself think here oh god so what the fuck is going on here yeah <laughs> remodel a little bit <laughs> you want to watch this with me no oh why not serial killers are not cool for you kids anymore i had people used to write me love letters name their dogs after me get tattoos I really miss those days oh i hear they're gonna do a fourth butcher movie saw this article in fangoria That'd be cool. Who's he at? Uh, it's for me, all right? Just stay here. Oh, no, no, let me take a look. No, come yeah. on. Oh, you are out a woman. Go. You did not tell me you had a girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend, okay? No, she's cute. Look, I need my pills, okay? And she's the only one who could get me them. So just, just go watch TV. No, no, no. Let her in. Come on. Get me can ring. You're a fucking psycho. Light up. Go watch TV. Yeah, watch TV. Got yeah. your mail. Hey, yeah, thank you. What are you doing? I I'm just watching movies right now. What kind? A horror. Cool, I love horror. Can I join? You know, it's not really a, a good time right now, Mitzi. Why not? Because I don't feel very well, okay? Well, well, I can help. No! What is your problem? I just can't hang out right now, all right? Don't you understand that? Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have come here. Look, I just really need my pills. Okay, so if you could go to the pharmacy. Yeah, why don't you just fuck off? Yeah, go have fun by yourself. What the fuck? Oh, you yeah, have a little problem with the girlfriend? Look, I'm not in the mood, all right? So just shut up. <laughs> you guys in a little argument. Shut up, all right? Shall I give my boy some tissues? You want to know how I survived all these years, Lenny? By staying one step ahead of the competition. <laughs> I know you want to kill me, but I'm not going to let you do that. Like, I'm going to get back in the game. All this has been so inspiring. I become alive again, Lenny. I hate you. <laughs> Why? All I ever did was love you. <laughs> Possession ritual. How to bring a subject back to life by transferring a mind into a foreign vessel. Must be marked. See figure A. Possession.
Orin? Mitzi, listen, it's me, Leonard. Psych. Leave a message. Mitzi, can you come here today, please, okay? Just oh, something terrible has happened, okay? I really need your help just whenever you get this message, okay? Please. Thanks. Oh. Fuck this. Hey, dick face. Mitzi, where are you? What are you doing here? I was in the area. I thought I'd check on your sorry ass. What's going on? I'm losing my mind. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, okay, look, I'm here. It's all right, okay? Oh, listen, I'm sorry about what I said earlier, okay? I just... Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Help me. It's okay. Help me. Do you see it? The shed? I need you to check what's inside and report back to me. Why? Oh, I think my mind is playing tricks on me, and I need you to confirm this. Okay. Okay. I'll stay right here, okay? He's real. Are you okay? All this time, you thought you were crazy. But you're not. Not? Mm. You're haunted by the spirit of your father. Excuse me? You are your father, Leonard. Are you okay? Oh, who the fuck is this? Oh, ah! Leonard, we planned this. I was the one who marked you. Your dad murdered my mother. He killed that bitch and delivered me from pain. Oren Vasquez is our prophet. We searched for a way to bring him back. We performed human sacrifices. We shed blood for you. You are the vessel. Oh, no, you got the wrong guy. You're possessed by the spirit of your father. Come with us, Leonard. Oh my God, what are you doing? Let's find our blood. Oh, God! 
You're fucking crazy! Don't be afraid look, of it. Look, you need help, okay? A lot of help. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. You are the vessel. You are your father. No! If you think of him hard enough, it'll all become Go clear. away! Think, Leonard. Think. Mitzi? Hey, get your hands off the goddamn girl, psycho. This is not what it looks like. Well, it looks to me like you slaughtered every one of them. I know what the fuck you're talking about. I think I'm possessed. You think you're what? I can't control it. <laughs> Jesus jumping Christ. You're nutty in a fruitcake, you know that? You're not possessed, idiot. You're just crazy. Whoa. Am I the only sane person in this house? I told you I was real. What do I have to do to prove it? You're real. <laughs> Hello, Lenny. Earth to Lenny. Anybody home? <laughs> she was acting all crazy, and so I took her out with one blow, man. Bam. Uh, the other two, uh, uh, they, they weren't so lucky. You are so fucked up when you were out of drugs. You're like a goddamn zombie. So I couldn't take a chance on you walking around this place tripping that alarm, so wrapped your bracelet in foil. Worked too, huh? Told you it would. You just never listened to me. I mean, yeah, you know, I, I, I killed your mailman, you know, sorry about that, but I need a little practice. Right? Hey, <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> look what I found. Oh, God. Tonight. I'm leaving this dump. Hunting season is officially open. Take your girlfriend in the living room. I think we need to celebrate. <laughs> Come on, Lenny, pussy. Move it. You know, I used to think I was a dinosaur. Washed up has been. <laughs> but I was wrong. People still love me. Put her on the couch. You know, there's still a uh, sparkle inside me, uh, Lenny. <laughs> I just need to reinvent myself, you know, come into the 90s with a bang. So what's next? Well, you're gonna skin her. Why me? Because you need to grow some balls. You're too soft. I'm not skinning her. Pick a knife, Lenny. I'm not gonna ask you again. Okay, okay. Second one from the right. It's real sharp, cuts through bone. You know, I've always wondered. What? How many people did you kill? <laughs> Maybe a hundred. Presto, I said 55. What the fuck do they know? No, it's too bad. Too bad no one will ever know, Lauren. You know what? Your unknown victims. I mean, think of your stories, you know, all the movies they can make about you. Yeah, I thought about that. Well, you know, maybe we could film ourselves. Put it all on camera. <laughs> like a little documentary. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> make it future-proof. We need a camera. Judas had one. You know how to use it? Sure. Oh, well, we could. We could make our own movie. You know, think of your new audience. Butcher the next chapter. Hmm. Yeah. It could be about us, you know? We travel across America and we kill people. My father likes time. Exactly. Put it all on tape. 
I see that. Yeah? Yeah, I like that. Hmm. Go get it. Really? Yeah, go on, get that camera. Hurry. You won't regret it, Dad. Uh-huh. that noise. Where should I stand? Um, move left. Here? Oh, right there, perfect. Okay, I think we should undress her. Hmm? Do it. Come on, do it. Undress her. Just rip it. Wait, I forgot the tape. It's in the camera. Is the recording light on? How the hell do I know? Go check. Get out of here. Come on, let's go. All right, can you walk? Yeah? yeah. yeah? Okay, come on. Okay. We're almost there. Okay. Shit! Don't touch her. These Satanists, you know, the satanic cult devoted to me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm flattered. You betrayed me for the last time. Man. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? Well, I'll go with you. Oh, it's too late for that. I think I'm gonna start the next chapter with that. Take me. Who's the hero now? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're pissed, aren't you, Leonard? You wanna kill me? Well, come on, Lenny, let's do it, you pussy. Who's a hero now? Oh, oh fuck it. I, fuck it. 
fucking hate you! Look at me. Good job. Get some fire in your boy. I like it. Proud of you. You suck at parenting. Pussy this summer. <laughs>